Hey! <laughs> yep. I did the same thing last year where I didn't make a video for like three months and then just made an update video to tell you what I've been doing for the reasons that I haven't made a video. That's what this is. Also, I've had this Canon Rebel T3i since like May and I haven't actually filmed a video on it yet. This side lighting right here is really not good. But it's very artistic. Shall we take a look at the artistness? This art. I'm just gonna have to say on this side of the screen. This this is not happening. Okay, but the reason I don't have time is because a lot of things have been going on this year in college. I've learned to talk faster apparently as well. Theater. I've been in two shows this year. That would be The Diviners and Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors. Two. Es dos. The first show was The Diviners. That was Norma Henshaw, a freaky religion lady. And the second show we did was Shakespeare's The Comedy of Errors. I was Dromeo of Syracuse, one of the twins. But BAM! I was also in a thing called the Musical Theater Showcase that we have here at our college. Here are some pictures from that if you so wish to see. If I don't put pictures there, this is going to be really awkward. But they're there. The first act was Disney songs. In that act, I had a solo which was Watch What Happens from Newsies. I also had a duet with this guy named Nathan Jester and we did For the First Time from Tarzan. I was also a silly girl in Belle, a hyena and Be Prepared. And I was Jane in Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. And then in the second act, we did a kind of condensed version of the show Ragtime, and in that, I was a little girl. If you're confused as to the hair color that's on my head, then you don't follow me on Instagram, do you? Shame on you. But I had to dye my hair black for the Shakespeare show, The Comedy of Errors, because I was a twin, and the girl I was being twins with, she has black hair, and she couldn't really dye her hair from black, because then it would be too difficult, and her hair would dye and fall off her head. Anywho, I kind of like the black color, and I might keep it black, but I might not keep it black. Chances are, if I don't keep it black, I'll just dye it back to dark brown. Dye it back to dark brown. There you go. And if you remember from an update video that I did last year, I said I was going to be a manager of one of our TV station things here at my college, so that's a thing I've been doing as well. Now let's look ahead to the next semester. Next semester I have more classes than I had this semester, so that's just going to make me more busy with classes and stuff. <laughs> the reason I'm at college. What? <laughs> and it's not just acting classes and communications classes, because I actually have to take some general education classes. So I'm going to be taking things like science and religion and history and... Uh, Another change that has happened in my life, I'm no longer a communications major. I just wasn't feeling it. I like communications, I like doing this whole, this whole video thing, but I like it as a hobby really and not as a job. Dropped my communications major. I didn't drop it completely though, I just dropped it down to a minor so that's less classes that I have to do. And I mean I already did half the classes for a minor, so I might as well. So I'm already so busy, I had another major. Good job, Abby. Good job. So now my official title is double major in theater performance and playwriting with a minor in communications. Now since I dropped the major, I will no longer be a manager for our TV station here at my college, which is okay. Something else to look forward to in the next semester is the musical we do in the February month. This year we're doing 9 5 the musical and I was cast as a part of Roz Keith. My camera just stopped and I had to restart it. Why? <sighs> Also, I'll be going to the Kennedy Center American Collegiate Theater Festival again this year, like I did last year. If you want to see a video on that, it's here. If it's not here, it's down in the doobly-doo. But I'll be going to that again in January, not as an actor, but as a designer. As I designed the poster that we did for our Comedy of Errors show, I'll put that here. I also designed the program, but I don't think I have a picture of that. But it kind of looks like the poster, so there you go. I'll be being judged and critiqued on that instead of my acting ability, so that'll be something new, fun, and exciting. Ah! Something else that happened in this semester that's been kind of a struggle and a long time commitment, I gained a new fashion accessory. If you don't know what this is, it is a boot and it happens when you break something in your foot or something like that. Long story short, my foot was hurting, I thought it was some pain and it would go away. I waited a month, didn't go away, went to the doctor. They're like, oh, you might have a fracture, we don't really know though, so come back in two weeks, we'll x-ray it again and check that out. Went back in two weeks, still hurt, got another x-ray. Yes, it was fractured, good job, why didn't you do that two weeks ago? And so put me in a boot, said it'll be two to four weeks. Went back after two weeks and got put in the boot for four more weeks, so that was a month longer. And then after the four weeks, went back again to see how it was doing because it still hurt and nothing's really changed. So now I'm also on these things. My life. We've had snow, a lot of snow here, here at the Iowa land because why wait till December when you can have snow throughout all of November? So not only have I had to deal with the broken footness, I've also had to deal with the slippiness and the iciness of these things on the freaking ice and snow and water. 
I took out my camera and I was literally like, wait, what do I do? I don't remember. Why am I talking to a camera? This is kind of weird. Why do I do this? Was this actually a thing I did? And now I'm here talking to a camera and like stretching my face and freaking out a little bit because I'm not actually sure if I'm doing the YouTube thing like I usually do the YouTube thing and if I'm doing it right like I think I'm doing it right. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you, I also have a radio show. I would always do an hour show with Alexa and we called that A Squared. Alexa, Abby, A Squared, get it? <laughs> and then after that I would do an hour show called Broadway Hour where I play Broadway music and some YouTube music and just music that I like to listen to because it's my radio show and I can do whatever I want. Kind of. Not really. I have to adhere to the rules of the radio. But other than that, I can do whatever I want. We always live stream those shows, so I'll put a link down in the doobly-doo to past shows that you can go back and, and watch if you so wish to do so. Video killed the radio star. Vid I haven't played that yet, I don't think. <sighs> that needs to happen. What am I even saying? I don't... Ugh, words. Let me know how everything's going for you down in the doobly-doo. Comment, like, subscribe, things I'm supposed to say. That's what I do. I'm gonna go edit this or maybe build a snowman. Now that I'm pretty sure this video didn't make any sense, I'm gonna say goodbye. And bye!